kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us see about the rights of an unpaid seller now who is an unpaid seller the seller who has not received the price of goods or the seller who has not got his negotiable instrument dishonored will become an unpaid seller so the seller now see there will be two parties one is seller and one more is buyer the seller would have sold his goods isn't it the seller would have sold its goods to the buyer and buyer should pay the money but he wouldn't have done the payment that time this particular seller will become an unpaid seller so yav ond seller avanige barbekadanta duddu bandiralvo aa ond seller na navu unpaid seller anta heli karithivi for example x sells certain goods to y now here x is selling certain goods to y so x becomes the seller and y becomes the buyer for 5000 rupees Y paid four thousand. So total, how much he was supposed to pay? He was supposed to pay five thousand, but Y paid only four thousand. So and he failed to pay the balance. So the balance of rupees one thousand rupees, whatever he should have paid, that was unpaid. So he failed to pay the balance. Now here this fellow X becomes the unpaid seller because the full amount, whatever he should have got. It, he didn't get that. So now, he X ano vekti, Y ano vekti ke aith saavira bille baalu vantha vastu vanna sell martane. Ili X bandu seller aktane, Y bandu buyer aktane. So Y en martane five thousand rupees kortane. Arey four thousand uh, five thousand rupees sorry five thousand rupees korbe kagate four thousand na ono kortane. इन मिद बालेन्स अद्वानाने अनपेड से P. Now, for six thousand, so he he received a check. So instead of cash, R has given check for P, offer a full price that is six thousand rupees check he has given. Now P will take the check and he will present the check in the bank. So what happens? The check will get dishonored. Again here P didn't get the payment, so B becomes the unpaid seller. So. इले पी सम गुड्स ना आर इगे सेल मार देता ने आ गुड्स इना वैल्यू सिक्स थाउजेंड आगे देता है सिक्स थाउजेंड गुड्स ना सेल मारे वंदे चेक ना करता ने आर पी के वंदे चेक का ना करता ने कैश पर दो आर इन आ सॉरी पी इन मारता ने इतना तो कौन दोगी बैंक की के हाकता ने बैंक की हाकता आगा आ वंदो चेक इन जला ड अंत समय पी बिकम अनपेड से ना वाट आर द रईट आफ एन अनपेड से विल हव टू टाइप आफ रईट वन इज रईट अगेन्स्ट द गुड्स एंड सैकेंड वन इज रईट अगेन्स्ट दि बयर एर रीतिया रईट अनपेड से गूड्स विरद्धव रईटू वो बयर् संबंध पट रईटस गूड्स के संबंध पट रईट यू अरे रईट आफ लेन रईट आफ स्टापेज इन ट्रांस रईट टू रीसे बयर् संबंध पट रईट यू अरे रईट टू स्यू फॉर् प्रईस रईट टू स्यू फॉर् इंट्रेस्ट डैमेज फॉर् नॉन एक्सेप्ट एंड डैमेज फॉर् रेप्यूडियशन दीस आर दि फोर रईट फॉर् रईट अगेन्स्ट बयर् एंड थ्री रईट फॉर् रईट अगेन्स्ट गूड्स ना लेट सी ईच इन डेप मोदल ना रईट अगेन्स्ट गूड्स गूड्स के संबंध पट रईट ये अंत नोड़ोदना फस्ट रईट आफ लेन एंड रईट आफ स्टापेज इन ट्रांस एंड रईट टू 
three cell. Let us see all three in detail. First one, right of lane. Now, the unpaid seller will have the right to retain the goods. Lane means retain the goods. So, if payment is not done, he can keep the goods with him only. That is only right of lane till the amount is recovered. In helate andre, one do unpaid seller. ತನಗೆ ಬರಬೇಕಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ದುಡ್ಡುಗಳು ಬರೋ ತನಕ ಆ ಒಂದು ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ನ ತನ್ನ ಬಳಿಯೇ ಈ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಹುದು ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಫುಲ್ಫಿಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ಪೇಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಮನಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೈನ್ ದ ಇಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೇಲ್ ದ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ then he cannot claim this right then after the completion of credit period still if the consumer has not paid the amount for him then he can exercise this right of claim right next the unpaid unpaid seller should have obtained those goods lawfully he should have he should be a legal owner of that goods if he is only not the owner of the goods then he cannot acquire this right next amount must be due on those goods only against which right of claim line is decided so he should held up only such type of goods with him for which he has not received any payment and which is eligible for claiming this right of lane so yaa yaa conditions unde modalo avanu unpaid seller agirbeku avange barbekagirttakanta addu bardale irbeku next second thing enu andre there should be no credit terms in the contract of sale on the contract of sale ali avange yavude rithiya credit term bagge avanu mention maadirbaddu by chance on mention maadidda andru kuda by chance on mention maadidru kuda aa ondu credit period mugudadmele innu customer onge dud kottilla anta helidre avaga avanu ee right of line na padibahudu next ಆ ಒಂದು ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ನ ಅವನು ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೋ ಆ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಗೂಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವನ್ಗೆ ಲೀಗಲಿ ಹಕ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಅವನ್ ಅವನ್ದೇ ಅವನೇ ಓನರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಗೂಡ್ಗೆ ಅಂದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಅವನು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬನಿಗೆ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಈ ಒಂದು ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅವನು ಪಡೆಯೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಆನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಅವನು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ವಸ್ತುಗಳನ್ನ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹಿಡ್ದಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ ವಸ್ತುವಿಗೆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಬೈ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಎರಡು ವಸ್ತು ಅವನು ಎರಡು ಸೇಲ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಎರಡು ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಅವನು ಫುಲ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಗೆ ಫುಲ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಂದಿರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅವನು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಗೂಡ್ ನ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹಿಡ್ದಿಟ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೂಡ್ ನ ಅವನು ಇಟ್ಕೊಳಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೊ ಇಯರ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ and b is the buyer for a price of 500 and gives 2 weeks credit period so within 2 weeks b can pay the 500 rupees to a but b fails to make the payment within the credit period even after 2 weeks the b is not making any payment so the a becomes the unpaid seller he has the right to lane means he can keep the good with him illi a annodu ond seller b anno buyer ge goods na sale madirthane ಅದರ್ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಬಂದು ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅವನು ಟೂ ವೀಕ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾನೆ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ನ ವಾಪಸ್ ಕೊಡೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಬಿ ಎರಡು ವಾರ ಆದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ವಾಪಸ್ ಕೊಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾನೆ ಎ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಪೇಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಅನ್ಪೇಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾನೆ ಅವನ್ಗೆ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ವಸ್ತುನ ಅವನ್ ಬಳಿನೇ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತಹ ರೈಟ್ ಅವನ್ಗೆ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ will the unpaid seller will not be able to use this right first one is without having the right of disposal of goods by chance if he is only not the owner then he cannot use this right next buyer lawfully obtains possession of the goods see uh, by something would have happened between seller and buyer seller would have done some cheating for buyer as a compensation of that this good would have uh, possessed by the buyer lawfully so that time the seller will not become an unpaid seller and seller has waived the right of claim so by chance he would have told at a time of purchase even if you have delayed in making the payment i will not keep the good with me that time he cannot use this then 
where the seller conducts himself that leads to the third parties to believe that lane does not exist. See the example for this fourth point I will give here. A car, A sold a car to B for 2 lakh. So A is a person and he is selling a car to B that is buyer for 2 lakh and he is in some other place. So he delivers the same to railways. A takes the car and gives to railways to transmit the car to the buyer. The railway receipt was taken in the name of B. The railway receipt they will make name of B and he will, they will send it to B. Now, A, if by chance A also will not pay the amount, A cannot exercise the right of lane because for third party that is railways, he has told that he has already sold the good to B and receipt is also in the name of B. Yavaga Yavaga unpaid seller right of line in a Balasodike Agalanta headre Yavaga unge one to Vasto Mele Adikara Irala. Iga by chance non non seller, Nange one to Vasto Mele Adikara ne Irala. Adru Kuda than Tawondogi Obrege sale Martini and the head daga Nange Adikara Irila. Adu Nanogi sale Madidine. Ha Anta Samedali, non right of line in a Upioxodike Sadia Agodilla. Next, buyer lawfully obtains possession of goods. Iga by chance, non seller one buyer gena no uh, mosa ma bitirtine. Aga ki court ene lata non inda one vastuna kitkola kauni ke. Aun na de prakara kitkon dirtane. But aun kitkon dan ta er bato non right of line payment ene nani bande ilan ta er bato non right of line ena maada be kaga la. Next, when seller has weighed the right of line, iga seller e one do Sell mother time will head it than in on the other later Kotru Parvagila, Nan in Vastuna Nanbali it called Alan in the Kortini and the Hailed Draga on even the right in a Balsotike, Satya Agodilla. Next, where the seller conducts himself that leads to the third party to believe that lane does not exist. When the seller third party gay lane illanta Hail and an opinion Kotta and Rukuda on even the right of lane in a Balsotike, Agala, Udar and again. A on the Vecti B get Karna sale Martane two lakhi ge in no B dut cotidala. A in Martane Adana Railway Sik Kotane deliver Madadike B gige Recept on the receptory B name Hakus Putane Sale and the Heli Hakustane. Iga car band the B manek talutu as a B in no dut cotilanta heladre Ye e right of Ladana impose Mada Kagala Yakendre Il Railways third party. Third party gain and the head is an no sale and the head is an sale and the head at mele, recitally B name hacks is an so ill right of lane in a padiotike sadia illa. This is all about right of lane. Next is right of stoppage in transit. Transit and re ega deliver martha etrala a on the time the transit and the karitare ali stoppage madu and the do. So during the time of delivery, stopping the goods is stoppage in transit. The unpaid seller has the right to stop the goods in the transit itself when the buyer is insolvent. Insolvent means he don't have capacity to pay the money. So unpaid seller ge deliver martira hadile goods than ilso anta shakti irate. Yava gandre tanna undu buyer ge tutkodu anta shakti illa anno donge tiladaga. Ida ge conditions in an andre he must be unpaid seller. Next he must have parted with the possession of goods means. He should be the owner of the goods, isn't it? And he should have dealed with the possession of goods. And then the goods na marata maadake prayatna patir beko. Then the goods should be in transit. It should not be in Gordon. It should be in transit. It means it should have already left the place of the seller. And the transit al irbeko. Seller jaga bitir beka to already on the way irbeko. Then when the buyer has become insolvent. Only when buyer don't have capacity to pay, this right can be used. Buyer ke dudkoro shakti ilanta andag matra even the right na balaspodo. Then there should be no credit terms. By chance, if any credit term is there, even after the credit term is over, the amount if the seller has not received, only then this right can be exercised. Ili yau de ritya credit terms irbado. By chance, credit terms idru koda. Aavondo credit term mukut melo inno dud bandi ilanta heladre. Aga even the stoppage na mat bhogdo. For example, B is at Delhi and orders goods from A. A is a seller, seller is in Mumbai and B is the buyer, buyer is in Delhi. A consigns means he sends and forwards the goods to B. On arrival at Delhi, now it is in the Delhi, they are taken to B's warehouse, it has come to B's place. 
and left there. B refuses to take the goods and stop payment. B will tell, no, I don't want this good. I am stopping the payment. So here, but the goods are still in transit. The B has not received, he has not taken the goods still. So what happens? The unpaid seller, A, A is the unpaid seller, can take them back. Now, A and no on the Vikti seller Agitane on the Mumbai Alirtane, B and no Vikti Delhi Alirtane, Aun and Martane, B, A in the order Martane, A Adana Kalastane, ship consignment Martane. Adu Delhi Barate, B, warehouse it Barate, Aga B and Ertane and Git Beda and the head put to Adan Tawala Rela. Are the goods in the transit Ali there? Anta Samyadale, Ye Adana Bandu Vapas, Togol Bodo. This is right of stoppage in transit. Next, right to resale. Resale means sell it again. The unpaid seller has the right to resale the goods under the following condition. Where the goods are perishable in nature. Perishable means which will get spoiled early at the earliest. The goods which will get spoiled at the earliest is known as perishable. While selling this type of perishable goods, the buyer needs to inform the, the sorry, the seller needs to inform the buyer about the intention of resale. He should tell that already I had sold this to some other person, some other person refused that, so I am selling this to you. He should inform that. He got right to sale another, adna vapas tawamandu inna brug maradu. Adre, il one condition in follow mat bekonde, perishable goods and then bega hala gontadu. For example, milk halu. In that nala buy mat bekadre, seller in that nala sell mat bekadre, seller head beko buyer ke. Itara idan already munchen of sell madi dvi or tawal lilla, haga ki nimge sell martai dvi and tedi. Here he need to inform. This is right to resale. Now, let us see what are the rights of unpaid seller against the buyer. He has four rights. One is right to sue for price, right to sue for interest, damages for non-acceptance and damages for repudiation. Let us see each and every point in detail. First one is, see the right of unpaid seller against buyer. He will have rights. See, it is not that only he is having rights against the good. He is having rights against to file a sue against buyer also. This is known as Seller's remedies for breach of contract of sale. When breach of contract has happened, what are the seller's remedies? In our previous long back, in our previous videos, we had seen remedies to the breach of contract that was related to buyer. But here it is related to seller. First one is right to sue for a price. Now, see, two cases are there. First case is the property has been passed to the buyer. And the buyer neglects and refuses to pay for the goods. That time, the seller may sue him for the price of the goods. First case in the case, on the seller buyer ke goods na kalsir tane, kalsir mele on the buyer bed and the heli payment model and the hel tane. Anta samyadali, e on the seller on mele case na file mad bodo. Goods na price value ge on ke case na file mad bodo. Second case is where property is not passed. But contract of sale has happened, agreement has been signed and the amount is also not paid means it's payable. It is payable on a certain day. The buyer neglects the goods and refuses to pay. In such case, the seller can use this right even if the property in goods has not been passed. See, here the seller still he has not sold the goods when the time is there. But already the contract has been signed. What happens? The buyer will come and tell that I don't want the good. Seller would have, would have already made the good ready. He would have undergone some expenses. Now suddenly buyer is coming and telling that no, I don't want that good. In this case also, the seller can use this right to sue even if the property is not at, property of goods is not at past. Second case in Andre, Gudu Tanna Baliye Irate. Gudu Tanna Baliye Irate. Adre Yenanta Heladre. Amount in no cut kotirala, solpa dina ad mele amount na kotbe kagate, but contract of sale madir tare oru. Aita, but in agate andre, in in sale delivery agbe konta hel laga, buyer banbutan and gather goods beda and the hel putane. Papa seller agreement sign agarutta, goods na ready madi tritane. Ega buyer bandha salanagin and get goods beda and the hel putre, 
ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಬಿಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾನ ಬಿಡಲ್ಲ ಆ ಆ ಕೇಸಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವನು ಅವನ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೇಸ್ ನ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅದೇ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಅವನ ಹತ್ರನೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಅವನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ನ ಫೈಲ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಬಯರ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ರೀಸನೇಬಲ್ ಡಿಲೇ ಫಾರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾವು ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಮನಿ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಬೈ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಬೈಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಡಿಲೇ ಇನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಒಂದು ಬಯರ್ಗೆ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ನ ಮಾಡೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಬಯರ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ಅವನ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ದಿನ ಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೋ ಆ ದಿನದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇ ಹಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಪರ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಲೇ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ by chance if he is not mentioned in the contract then whatever the court decides that much its interest only he should charge on interest charge madbekare by chance contract alli bartidda anta ittkoli eshtu interest na charge martini delay madidre andre ashtu interest ne avanu charge madbodu by chance on contract alli enu bartilla andre court en helutala aa ondu basis mele interest na charge madbodu next is sue for damages for non acceptance means refuse so where the buyer wrongly neglects or refuses to accept and pay for the goods the seller may sue him for the damages for non acceptance as regards as measures of damages now he would have the buyer would have signed the contract and gone later on he'll after going home he'll tell no i don't want that again for this also this is considered as non acceptance then the seller can sue a case against the buyer for damages of non acceptance iga contract na sell maadi hogirtane buyer mane go takshana nange interest illa anta helibidtane anta samayadallu kuda non acceptance anta heli enen damages agirutte adakke sue maadabodu next the last one is repudiation of contract before due date so the buyer when the buyer refuses the contract before the date of delivery now by chance the delivery will be tomorrow and today the buyer calls and tells no i don't want this thing i'm cancelling the contract the seller may treat the contract as no longer valid and sue damages for breach so if he is refusing means breach of contract is happening that is anticipatory breach of contract so for that anticipatory breach the seller can sue a case and claim the damages this is also known as rule of anticipatory breach of contract so repudiation andre cancel madodu andre iga ondu buyer iga naale deliver aagbekagirutte goods ivar sanje phone maamtu nanage beda anta helutna adu naavu indin video dal nodidevi anticipatory breach anta karithiv adana aa rithi madadaga illi contract na murita irodrinda seller avange damages na file madabodu avan mele case na file maadi enen damages agidyo adanella seller claim madabodu so here it is adana rule of anticipatory breach of contract anta kuda karithivi now hope you have understood this video very well about the rights of an unpaid seller the notes for this i have put in the first comment kindly download the notes and study well in our next video let us see the rights of the buyer thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.